All right, so this one <laughs> sits on a little anomaly. Um, it is uh, whiskey. Um, it has rye whiskey, raw honey, navel orange, and rock candy and bitters. It still holds a whopping 42%. Uh, for me, this is basically a full shot. I guess you can call it or uh, double. It's up to you. Um, so 84 when you go to the proof of the percentages, you you cut it, but when you do percentage, you cut it in half, and that's your proof. So basically, if it's a hundred uh, percentage, it's fifty proof. So looking at eighty four, that's probably like forty two, which is still very strong. I don't know. Basically, one is the alcohol percentage based on the volume of liquid. And the other one is the proof system from zero to a hundred. Essentially, they they go very hand in hand. I don't know why there's such a diversity amongst it. Everyone wants to be their own thing, I guess. Um, this is sweet. Lots of flavor is the whole point. So at 84 proof, it's, oh, so that's what it is. 84, it's um, 42. Two percent uh, proof can go up to like 200. It's, it's ridiculous, I don't know, but in a nutshell, you have to proof it equals a percentage. Your average liquor is 40, period. It can go under, but that's your average. Anything above that, it's gonna really start kicking your butt. So, anyways, I had to bring uh, slow and low has their bourbon, they have their, their whiskey that they sell, they have their bottle. But this is their main idea, and honestly, it is just a good, you can buy a couple of them, like three bucks a piece on average. I don't know where you're at, if that's what you can get. So these are things, once you open this one container, it has to be empty and tossed out. Anything else will, if you have it open, can be used against you. So I'm not here to be an advocate, I'm here to teach you nothing. I just want you to know this exists. So if you want to have a little nightcap, um, something to carry with you, as long as that lid's on there, you're fine. Anything breaks on it, it needs to be on your trunk. That's all I know. I'm not a lawyer. Any advice you take from me is just a precautionary extra measure. And I would take double that just for general purpose, period. So the whole point is I've had this a few times. It's been amazing. It has a lot of beautiful um, citrus notes. It's very um, sweet, but it has a very... Very good kick. I'm a bourbon lover. Bourbon ugh, just speaks to me. I don't know what it is. So anything above 45 proof, you're, I love you. I might not be happy the next day. I might regret drinking that liquor that day or the next day. But until then, just mm, do it right. I'm tired of everything being 40. Um. Anyways, that's the nutshell. So I'm just going to go through this with you. Just so you see what it's about. If you have not seen it, you're missing out. Sorry that was loud, but you're missing out. This is just, I don't know. It has, you can do, you can mix it. You can put soda with it. You can do a lot of things with it. But this one little can, it's, sometimes it's better than getting a pint. Sometimes it's better than getting a whole fifth. You don't want that much with you, you know? So I just want you to see it's a beautiful whiskey. There's nothing fancy about it. It is... They just wanted you to have something to go. That That is one. Your, your real shots are two ounces. Anything less is a good recipe, a good mixer, a good martini, or whatever, you know, one and a half. If you're doing one ounce anything, you're really being precautionary. You're really trying to take care and make sure you have a good night, which by all means is great. Just know what you're getting to. So I'm feeling at least two, three shots. But it says 100 uh milliliters i'm not big on the metric system not because i hate it it's just here in america don't exercise that much it just happens so it is very orangey very orange peel like fruit flowery it's just crazy but like i said i love whiskey so it has kind of like the soda but without the carbonation, just has that watery. It's enough where if you pace yourself, you can enjoy yourself. So that's all I wanted to know. This is something you get for a few bucks. 
Um, it's not for a wino thing. I don't want you to, oh, you know, everyone gets, oh, it's a good product. This is like, you get a couple, you pace yourself, you know where you're going, you know who you're hanging out with. You're like, oh, once you run out, you don't tell them that. You just, once you run, you're like, hey, it's time for me to go. You cover yourself. If you choose to do anything beyond that, that's on you. Just please be responsible. But off the bat, for the price, for the size, for what they do, for what they promote, good coverage, good plenty of flavors. It's like an orange blossom tree on your tongue. It's just perfect. So there you go. Slow and roll. Slow and low. Um, doing a great job. You're making something different. You want people to know, hey, it's okay to have a good time. You don't have to stay the whole night. Um, overall, just even with your regular bottle um, whiskey, solid, solid job. So thank you. Hopefully it's something you can see. If you never witnessed it and then you look at the can, you know what's going on. But please do read the cans. They vary. They'll have other cocktails and mixers. They're not all the same. This one is a whiskey-focused one with a good punch so you can have a couple of good solid drinks and then go home or have some water rest make decisions solid before your mind's like whoa, gone you know so please just take that as you wish i not really as you wish or just considerations so you understand what you're getting into so but overall solid whiskey great flavor profile beautiful thank you and have a good night